Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooznest, and today we'll do another tutorial on the WorkBee CNC machine. In this video, we're going to go through setting up an emergency stop button like this. Just killing power to the machine would not be enough from a safety standpoint. If you're running a job from a laptop connected via USB, when you kill power, the sender program will still be running its process on the laptop and sending commands to the machine. So if you release the button, the file will then carry on running, which is not what we want. So what we have to make sure this button does is kill power, but also kill the process that is running on the laptop. So when we do release the button, nothing starts moving again. To kill the power using a switch like this, what we need to do is interrupt the positive line coming from the power supply to the controller. And then to interrupt the process, what we need to do is have a wire coming from the reset pin on the controller to a switch like this also. You can do both processes with the same switch. What you need is a switch that has two terminals. You need one which is normally closed. This is to switch the reset connection on the controller. And you also need another one, not seen here but seen on switch down there, normally open. And this is to interrupt the power coming from the power supply. So what I'm going to do is just go over to this switch here so you can get an idea of how we have wired it up. So I took the front of our emergency stop button here and inside here you can see we have two terminal switches are normally open and are normally closed. A normally open is for our power interrupt. So this red wire here is coming from the positive output on our power supply and this black wire here is going back to the positive input on the controller. When this button is hit it interrupts the power and then kills the power to the controller. On the normally closed slot side we have this red wire and this comes from the emergency stop input on the controller and this black wire goes to the ground on the controller. So when this is hit, it sends a signal to the board to kill the process and thus stopping the machine. You may be wondering how we kill the process to the board even though we've killed the power to the board. There's capacitors on the board, these hold the power for a minute second allowing us enough time to still kill the process to the board. In addition, if you've got it connected via USB, hitting this button won't kill the USB's power. So there'll still be the 5, five volts coming from the USB, but the main power to the motors is killed, so the machine will still stop. So I'm just going to put this back now, and then give you a demo of it in action. I've got the machine turned on. Just going to quickly home it. And now I'm going to quickly run a file to give you a demo of how this emergency stop button works. So just send that. So it's going to let it run for half a second. So as you can see, if we had a material in here now, it would be cutting. So what I'm just going to do is press this emergency stop button. This has now stopped the machine. If you now look at your controller, you can see the lights have gone out. And also, on your sender program, the file has stopped sending. So now what I'm going to do is unlock the button. So now, the controller has got power back again, but the machine does not carry on running. This is because when we hit that button, it killed the process on the machine. So just to recap, this is the correct way to set up an emergency stop button with the machine. We want to kill the power, but also kill the process, so when you unlock it, the machine does not carry on running. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. We're going to have another video coming soon on how to set up the pause and play buttons. So please subscribe to keep in touch on when that video will be released.